Hi, I'm Andy Green, former Trenton Trojan, current New Jersey Devil. You're watching State Champs, home of high school sports. Champs is presented by Lawrence Technological University. Possible is everything. Hungry Howie's, your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Go to doughraiser.com for details. Van Andel Institute, get involved at purplecommunity.org. Our friends with the UAW and Chrysler. Warrior Sports, cross the line. And Pirani's Hockey World, 14 Michigan locations, Go to HockeyWorld.com for info. Hey everyone, welcome back to State Champs. We are presented by Lawrence Technological University. I'm your host, Lauren Plant. The winter sports season are now underway and we've got highlights in hockey and girls basketball on this week's show. Our main event was a big early season test on the ice for a couple of state ranked teams, Plymouth and Novi. We say goodbye to football in grand fashion. Our Hungry Howie's Mr. Football for 2014 has been chosen. You'll meet him shortly. And we remind ourselves of the power high school sports has in helping us get through even the toughest of times. The Recruit Report is back and better than ever, so stay tuned for that. But let's start on the power play action from around the state, including all three of the hockey defending state champs. Starting the winter sports season off inside, Kenton's Arctic Edge Ice Arena to be exact for a KLAA OAA crossover. The Kenton Chiefs bringing in the reigning D3 state champs, Farmington. We pick it up in the first period. Fresh off a 4-4 tie with their sister school, Salem. Kenton wearing white, already up 1-0. Nice dish from Marcus Cook. All Nick Harwell has to do is bang it home. Eight seniors gone for Farmington, including their all-state goalie, John Letheman. Their leading scorers back, the senior Drake Cole. 21 goals a season ago, effective use of the screen here to slip one by. The other leading scorer from 2013, now junior forward Jason Petrus. This is what you call a gift. Petrus buries the biscuit. Farmington led 3-2 after the first period. Canton right behind their other cross-campus rivals, Plymouth, for second in the KLAA South. Working nicely here, third period. Brian Aldani with the perfect look to John Winberry and the redirect. We were tied at three. We would need OT to decide it. Both teams currently unranked. A win here would get some attention. A weird carom finds Aldani, but Aldani earns this one. Top shelf, game winner. Canton wins four to three. Let's go up the road out of the Compuar Ice Arena as we bring in David Fade. Your fifth opportunity to make the most of this moment tonight. You won't get this opportunity back. You won't get this moment back in your life. Thanks, Lauren. The Trenton Trojans ready to hit the ice on the road as they squared off against their longtime rivals, the Shamrocks of Detroit Catholic Central. And the Shamrocks came out firing. Senior Captain Mitch Osowski goes skate to stick and puts it in falling down for his second of the night to give CC a 3-0 lead after one. Second period and more from Osowski as he takes the perfect feed from our Player of the Year candidate Ryan Burnett and deposits that one to complete the hat trick and put the home team up 4-0. But the Trojans would start on the comeback trail. Down 5-1 now, Quinn Preston gets by the CC defender and backhands one past Alec Calvaruso for Trenton's second tally. They trailed 5-3 after two. Early third and right off the faceoff, Brandon Morgan goes top shelf. And just like that, the Trojans found themselves within one at 5-4. But the Shamrocks were ready with the response, as just minutes later, Kyle Mulka takes the perfect feed out of the corner from fellow junior Nick Makari and roofs one to give CC back a two-goal cushion. The Trojans would add one more, but it wouldn't be enough, as the Shamrocks hold off the rally and take one over their rivals from Trenton. 6-5 the final. Now let's go to Jerry Taylor in the UP. Thanks, David. It's always a battle when Escanaba and Marquette play each other in any sport. The intensity seems like it's turned up a notch when the hockey season comes around. That intensity came to life right away. Calvin Pinar absolutely levels Jacob Patterson on the near side wall in the first period. 
Later in the first, Levi Wonder finds a little real estate. His shot on goal is snared out of the air by Brendan Higby. Escanaba's offense comes up with a great scoring chance here. Garth Wickham gets the puck in the slot. Higby flashes the leather again, robbing Wickham of a goal. Marquette was on a power play in the opening period, but it's Escanaba who scores first. Wonder gets just enough separation. He beats Higby via the five hole for the goal. One nothing Eskimos. On that same power play, Marquette gets the puck to Luke Schwemmen. His shot is stopped. Spencer Denbesti puts home the rebound, making it a 1-1 game. Still in the opening period, Wonder finds the gap in the Redmond D, and he beats everyone on the ice, except for the net. In the second period, the Eskimos retake the lead. I wonder who scores the goal. Oh yeah, Levi Wonder lights the lamp again. He had a hat trick as well as one assist in the game. Escanaba wins it 4-1 over Marquette. Next up, here's Ryan to close things out. Thanks, Jerry. Our final game in this set features Grand Rapids Catholic Central traveling to face Rockford. Catholic Central came into this one ranked number two in Division Three, and they wasted no time showing why. Off the faceoff, Chase Madden wrists it over the goalie's shoulder, and nine minutes into the first period, the Cougars have a 1-0 lead. But Rockford was also ranked number seven in Division One, and the Rams were no pushover. Matthew Baker digs the puck out of the corner, puts a shot on net, and John Filipiak bangs home the rebound. And he ties this game up. You need to find a way to get pucks through there. You gotta find a, find a way. So get rid of the big windup, put a puck on the goalie's pads. You'll get rewarded. Second period, Brian Pattison took over. Carrying the puck the length of the ice, the junior gets it deep into the zone for the goal. Pattison recorded a hat trick and Grand Rapids Catholic Central downs Rockford by a score of 5-2. For the power play, I'm Ryan Terpstra. So obviously a big week in football recruiting, beginning with the news that Brady Hoke is out at Michigan after four seasons. I'm Kyle Bogenschutz with Scout.com. We begin with some decommitment news. Number one tight end in the country, Chris Clark, officially says he is no longer verbally committed to the Wolverines, something that had probably been going on for quite a while. He'll still consider Michigan as well as North Carolina. He does have five schools that he wants to visit, but it doesn't look good, in my opinion, for the Wolverines. He really liked Brady Hoke and his coaching staff. A couple of guys are going to stick with Michigan. It looks like Brother Rice quarterback Alex Malzahn, who is a mid-year enrollee, is going to be at Michigan. He'll be there in Ann Arbor in January, and he'll have a chance to factor into that quarterback mix right away when it comes to spring football. Obviously, that just depends on which coach is going to end up at Michigan. Grant Newsom, another name, an offensive tackle from New Jersey. Big kid, 6'6", 6 6'7", 6 6 in the 250, 260 pound range, so he has a lot of area to add some weight and some strength to see if he can get on the field as a freshman. A couple of other names, Mike Weber, obviously, we haven't spoken since he officially decommitted from Michigan. He is getting interest from Notre Dame, Alabama, a recent offer as well. Michigan State and Mark D'Antonio, they were in his school this week. We'll see what happens with Weber. In my opinion, you look at Alabama, he'll take an official visit to Notre Dame, but Michigan State is still gonna be a factor in that one. The Spartans were waiting for Weber to officially announce his decommitment from Michigan. A lot going on also. Northwestern and Minnesota, things starting to heat up with Grant Perry, a senior wide receiver out of Brother Rice. So keep things locked on scout.com. Obviously a lot going on. Signing day quickly approaching that first week of February. With scout.com, I'm Kyle Bogenschutz. What's up, State Champs Nation? I'm Kiera Lancaster. Football season may be over, but we still got some sweet football action for you on today's show as we show you Hungry Howie's 2014 Mr. Football. We'll show you how that announcement went down up next. We want you. We are Lawrence Technological University. And we don't want just anyone. We want the brainiacs, visionaries, geniuses, and game changers. We want the students who will change the world through technology, science, business, and design. So if you're ready to explore your possibilities, we, we want you, NLTU. Lawrence Tech, possible is everything. 
Before the NBA draft, Andre Drummond was labeled a project. If you're not in school and labeled a project, don't give up. Get back in the game with the Back on Track program. This free program allows students to get valuable on-site vocational training, earn a diploma online with a flexible schedule, or take one class at a time until you graduate. We have year-round enrollment, so it's not too late. Don't let a label keep you down. Grab the rebound and score with the Back on Track program. Call 855-512-3212 or go to backontrack.education for more information. Hello, Howie Roll. So you really think that this is better than just walking into a Hungry Howie's and getting a ready-to-go Howie Roll? I do. I really do. And what's that tube for? Pants. <laughs> oh, these are yours. Get a Howie Roll with a 20-ounce Pepsi for just five bucks. Or get a meal deal for any size budget. Now that's an idea. Hungry Howie! Welcome back to State Champs. I'm Stephanie Funkhauser. One of the things we love most about high school sports are the life lessons we learn through both victory and defeat. And sometimes, even for just one day, tragedy turns to triumph. For a high school football team, getting the chance to play at Ford Field in the MHSAA State Finals is the opportunity of a lifetime. This year for Orchard Lake St. Mary's star tailback Brandon Adams, it was probably the most meaningful game of his life. 48 hours before the Division III kickoff, Brandon Adams' mother passed away on Thanksgiving night. You know, my mom was a big part of my life, and uh, she'll definitely be missed, and she was definitely fuel, fuel to the fire for this game for our team. While originally unsure if he would compete in the game, the entire St. Mary's community rallied around Adams and the football team to help fulfill his last promise to his mom, that he would bring home a state title. We all love Brandon and we love every one of our teammates and no matter who it was we were going to come together and that's basically the number one thing that's the best about this team is how much we all care for each other and we just come together when it matters most. And on St. Mary's opening drive, Adam scored the only touchdown of the game, a one yard run. I can't describe it, you know, it, for being a junior and still having one more year and having this uh, experience right now, it's, it's amazing. I, I couldn't imagine it doing with another team. With the final score being 7 to nothing in favor of the Eaglets, the Division III state football final was far from ordinary. But for the entire Orchard Lake St. Mary's community, it was extraordinary. I'd like to give this game ball Brandon Adams. <laughs> in Focus is presented by the Van Andel Institute. Join the Purple Community today and learn how your school can fight cancer at purplecommunity.org. This year's Hungry Howie's Mr. Football race was the best ever. Any one of our final four candidates, even a few outside of the four in a lot of years, could have easily won. With that said, this was our toughest decision to date. The debate on who should win was, let's just say, substantially spirited. To the three who were not chosen, be proud of everything you have accomplished and will accomplish. You're amazing athletes with high school legacies that will stand the test of time. This also holds true for Mr. Football 2014. The 2014 turned out one of the most talented group of Michigan high school football stars we've seen in years. Stiff competition saw a myriad of candidates fall in and out of our Hungry Howie's Mr. Football race. In the end, four were chosen as the cream of the crop. Muskegon Mona Shores quarterback Tyree Jackson was a threat to throw and run the rock. Jackson piloted the Shores all the way to their first ever state finals. He finished with 3,183 yards and 38 touchdowns in total offense. Clarkston signal caller DJ Zazula guided his Wolves to their second straight D1 state title in a 27 game winning streak. 22 TDs through the air in 2014, add over 1,000 yards rushing and 18 more touchdowns. Castex Mike Weber, clearly the best running back in the state. In just 10 games, Mike chalked up 2,268 yards on the ground. He also piled up 29 touchdowns as the technicians advanced to the state semis trying to lead the Warriors to a fourth straight D2 state title. Brother Rice quarterback Alex Malzone guided the Warriors on a 33-game win streak before falling to the eventual state champ Warren De La Salle in the region. His 2,998 passing yards and 38 touchdowns are single-season school records at Brother Rice, 
He also holds the record for completions with 211 and attempts 325 in a season. This performance was number one in the state and Alex Malzone had the eighth best season throwing the ball in Michigan high school history. 2014 Humphrey Howie's Mr. Football Award goes to Alex Malzone. A lot of kids know how to throw the ball strong or for long distances, but his accuracy, you look at his numbers, close to 70% completion percentage. And one thing I love about a quarterback, I want to see the ratio of interceptions to passes attempted, and his was off the charts. He's a great teammate and uh, kind of made everyone around him better. And, um, you know, he was out there after practice throwing routes all the time, and he didn't have to throw routes. He's, his arm's pretty strong, but he's out there to make his team better. And, you know, if you had to go to war with someone to be in a foxhole, you'd want Alex Melzone with you. Since he's been little, you know, he's been just loves football, you know, and so this is like a dream come true, you know, getting the scholarship to Michigan and now getting Mr. Football for Michigan. It's, it's, it's just, it's great. There's a lot of great players that have come from Michigan and uh, that have received the Mr. Football Award, and I'm very grateful to receive this award. They definitely picked the four best players to be represented, and uh, like I said, it's just a great honor because there was a lot of great players this year in Michigan, and it's just a great honor to have for myself. State Champ sends a special thank you to our Mr. Football presenting sponsor, Hungry Howard. It's just a great thrill to be uh, part of your sponsorship, your support of high school sports in the state of Michigan. It's just great. This is a great school, great uh, community. Don't just fundraise, do raise. Here's the details, simple and fun. Pizza certificates uh, for a medium one topping pizza. We give them to the organizations for a discounted rate and then they can sell those certificates for any amount that they choose and then the difference that they can uh, keep for their fundraising. So it's a really good program, uh, very lucrative and we've had a lot of success, especially with the high school programs. Congratulations to all of our Mr. Football candidates from all season long and to the Hungry Howie's Mr. Football for 2014, Alex Malzo. All right, State Champs Nation, there is still time for you to get a flag football team together and compete with us on Wednesday, December 10th. It's for a great cause to fighting Crohn's and colitis. It is $2,500 a team. If you don't have a team, it's $150. Bucks. There's going to be lots of food, a stadium tour, lots of stuff included. Go to the web address on your screen right now to register. Registration's at 5. The tourney starts at 6 p.m. Ford Field Flag Football Wednesday, December 10th. Join us. Congrats again to Mr. Football 2014, Alex Melzone, and to all other state champs in football this year. Our Ultimate Sports Blitz is up next, so get ready for winter sports on your original high school sports show, State Champs. My purple is defeating cancer. My purple is my grandma. Everyone has a reason for joining Purple Community. My purple is fighting Parkinson's. My purple is my mother. Because that's where the fight to end cancer, Parkinson's, and other diseases begins. When you participate in a Purple Community event, 100% of your donation goes directly to research at Van Andel Institute. Get involved. Join us at purplecommunity.org. We want you. We are Lawrence Technological University, and we don't want just anyone. We want the brainiacs, visionaries, geniuses, and game changers. We want the students who will change the world through technology, science, business, and design. So if you're ready to explore your possibilities, we, we want you, NLTU. Lawrence Tech, possible is everything. Welcome to Piranis Hockey World, the toy store for hockey players. They have been outfitting beginners, professionals, and teams since 1976. Piranis has an experienced, knowledgeable staff, the largest selection, and simply the best prices. In fact, Piranis has the best price guarantee. Now, if you can find a better price, they will beat it by 5%. Come to one of their 22 locations or log on to HockeyWorld.com for amazing savings and to join the Piranis E-Club for special offers all year long. It's always hockey season at Piranis. 
We're the Cronin Law Firm, bringing more to the table. When we sit down together, we share our expertise. You've got a legal problem, we know you need relief. Advice that you can trust, that's why people come to us. We're the Cronin Law Firm, bringing more to the table. Welcome back to State Champs. I'm David Faze. You know we talk all the time about the innovation that's constantly happening on the campus of Lawrence Tech. But sometimes in order for some of those amazing projects to happen for LTU, they need a little assistance from outside. And perhaps no group has done more to support a single program than what the Denzel Corporation has done for the entirety of the renowned Blue Devil Motorsports program. The Denzel funding was critical for Element One. That car was an all carbon fiber body and chassis shifter class go-kart that was powered by a hydrogen powered fuel cell. A very cutting edge technology, very cutting edge design. We competed in Europe and also we uh, showed it and gave many, many demonstrations here in the US. So it's a very important source of recognition for Denso and for Lawrence Tech. One of the things that has made this such a fantastic partnership is the fact that just like those involved with Blue Devil Motorsports, the team at Denso truly believes in LTU. One of the great things um, about Denso is they're willing to kind of step outside that box and say, yeah, you might be aero design team, um, and it's, so it's harder for you guys to find money around here, uh, but we're going we're to step up because you're Lawrence Tech. As always, if you'd like to learn more about Blue Devil Motorsports or any other Lawrence Tech program, log on to ltu.edu. For State Champs, I'm David Faves. We're Grand Rapids Catholic Central, and up next is the Ultimate Sports Blitz. We start this blitz in girls hockey down south. We cover it all. The defending Division I State Champs. Gross Point Woods University Liggett at home to take on the wild repping Walled Lake Unified. Liggett coming in unbeaten, opening period. The junior forward Allison Stapleton around the last defenseman. Nice backhand behind the keep Sheridan Clifford. Knights led one zip after one. More from Liggett in the second. Knights working the puck in the offensive zone. Division one second leading scorer, the sophomore Riley Manchin picks up the loose puck. The wicked wrister hits Pater. Gross Point Woods University Liggett went on to beat Wald Lake 4 to nothing. We make our way westward now. Kent City to be exact for some girls basketball. Muskegon traveling M46 to open the season against the Eagles for the second straight year. First quarter action, the Muskegon Michigan State commit. Madrika Cook finding Charity Ellis on the wing. The dribble drive and the senior hits the floater in the lane. Lady Reds trail by five but Kent City would get a big third quarter from their sophomores. First, it's Caitlin Gears, catching in the post, attacking the rim and finishing with the offhand. She led all scores with 15 points. Later in the quarter, Kent City breaking the press. Gears finding fellow sophomore Paige Mortensen wide open for the corner triple. Kent City scores 60 versus Muskegon for the second straight year. 60 to 55 is the final in this one. Let's wrap about 30 miles north. More girls hoops, a class A battle is Grand Rapids Christian, a team to watch this year, welcoming in East Kentwood. First quarter, all EK. Andrea Johnson kicks to Courtney Elliott for the long two. Falcons had a six point lead. Christian battled back and looked to their star to lead the way. The senior Courtney Derlou backing her way into the post. The fake, glass with the left. She had a game high 19. Third quarter, Eagles D all over the place. Ashley Duncan with the steal, all the way for the hoop. Grand Rapids Christian gets the 50 to 40 win over East Kentwood to open the season. Thanks for sticking with us here on State Champs. It's main event time where we hit the ring for some icy competition as Novi takes on Plymouth and boys hockey. Fundraising should be fresh, flavorful, and simple. We have the perfect solution at Hungry Howie's, Dough Razor. Your nonprofit organization can sell paper pizza certificates that your customers can redeem for one medium pizza at participating Hungry Howie's locations. Go to DoughRazor.com to learn about, sign up for, and order everything Dough Razor. Request a Dough Razor kit for your group today. Your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Welcome to Hungry Howie's Dough Razor. I got popcorn. I love movie trailers. Me too. 
This winter, if you are going to die, die nasty. Fear the power of the warrior dynasty. Holy sh**. We're the Cronin Law Firm bringing more to the table. When we sit down together, we share our expertise. You've got a legal problem, we know you need relief. Advice that you can trust, that's why people come to us. We're the Cronin Law Firm bringing more to the table. Welcome back to State Champs. The latest high school hockey rankings see Plymouth ranked 9 in the state in Division 1, Novi 4th in Division 2. Two teams from the always tough KLAA conference had an early season battle this week. Let's check out how this one turned out in our main event. Tonight, big challenge. All right, you're playing one of the higher ranked teams in D2, but as a challenge, it's also an opportunity. A chance to show where we are at this stage of the year. Back to the Arctic Edge Ice Arena for a KLAA crossover clash. Novi and Green would strike first. This will be a nice little bounce that leads to the breakaway. Hockey Player of the Year Kennedy, Brad Halflick alone and putting it past Jared Maddock. We finish tied at one after the first period. The two-time defending regional champs, Plymouth, would respond in the second. Andrew Jossi behind the net. Mitchell Lopatron just sick by his lonesome. He beats Manny Legacy Jr. That's right, the former Red Wings son. Plymouth led 2-1 after two. Now after Novi nodded it at two, Plymouth wins the faceoff and Kyle Kozler throws it at the net. Redirects into the back of the net. Plymouth back up one. Novi refusing to go away. Three minutes to go in the contest. Shot from the point and Halflick with the deflection. Third goal of the game and we were tied at three. But Plymouth poured in three third period goals in total. This was just 15 seconds later. Lopatron to the senior captain Josh Smith with the go ahead. They would add another. Plymouth beats Novi five to three. Wildcats three and zero on the year. Let's go down ice side with gear. I'm here with Josh Smith. Josh, you scored the go-ahead goal on a game that was neck-to-neck. -neck. How does it feel? Um, it feels good. The boys played hard tonight. Uh, we went out there, gave it our all, and uh, we came out with the win. It's a good game. Everybody played hard. All right, congratulations. Thanks for watching this week. Next week's show is our final episode for 2014, but we've got a full slate of 40 shows locked in for 2015. Send us your feature story ideas and let us know of big games we need to highlight this winter by going to the Connect page at statechampsnetwork.com. The fourth annual Warrior Sports High School Hockey Player of the Year is up and running. Click on the banner on our homepage and vote for your favorite. We'll see you next week right here on State Champs. State Champs is presented by Lawrence Technological University. Possible is everything. Hungry Howie's, your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Go to doughraiser.com for details. Van Andel Institute, get involved at purplecommunity.org. Our friends with the UAW and Chrysler. Warrior Sports, cross the line. And Pirani's Hockey World, 14 Michigan locations. Go to hockeyworld.com for info.